You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this is Anderillium's Rosate Spoonbill Pink. This is a little bottle of ink that was sent to me by the brand. Thank you very much, Anderillium, for sending me this little half ounce handcrafted in Tampa, Florida bottle of ink. I gotta tell you, I was dubious about this one. I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna be good. Uh, we should give it a try though. So I did and um, instant fan. Uh, let me let me show you, let me show you why. Here's this ink on this Nebula Casual Note 90 GSM paper where the flow is perfect from this here Pilot Explorer. The Pilot Explorer is a little pin that surprised me too. I gotta do a review on this one soon, but uh, uses the same kinds of nibs as the Prera and that uh, line of pens, but just, it feels nice in the hand. It writes great. I think it looks kind of cool and you don't expect hot pink to come out of this pen, right? But it does and it comes out real nice. This is the color you get in the swatch, but it's no different from what you get in the writing portion itself, which I think is pretty outstanding. Flow, perfect. Performance, really good on the copy paper. Very, very good on the copy paper. Qualities, super bright. I don't really get any shading or sheen out of this one, especially not with a fine nib. You might pick some shading up out of a larger nib, but I'm not really sure. It's a pretty saturated ink right here, uh, but this, as the first first Andorillium I tried, is just kind of a banger. It's very good. It also comes in these 45 milliliter bottles. I don't have any yet. I'll, I'll get some here soon, I'm sure. Uh, for 14 bucks, it's a very reasonable price for a little jam bottle like that. Let's go ahead and do our water test. Take a look at the chromatography. Look at a bunch of different papers, and then look at some other pinks like this. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna throw some water on this. All right, there we go. So lots of pink came up here on my little paper towel, but yeah, there's actually, there's a fair amount left there. If you spilled water or coffee or something on this and then blotted away, you'll be able to make out what you wrote. It won't be perfect. It's not like 100% waterproof or anything like that, but a little bit of resistance, enough resistance anyway to, uh, you know, to, to pick up what you wrote. So that's, that's pretty okay. Here's the chromatography for this ink, which as you can see, uh, contains pink. Uh, what's in this, in this ink? It's pink. It's pink. All right, so this is where it looks real great. You can see here on this Staples 20 pound, 30% recycled copy paper that uh, you don't really have any feathering, uh, no spreading, still definitely very fine. And also on the back, look how good that is. That's really good. Actually, this might perform just as well, this Andorillium Blue Ringed Octopus, if I'd had it in a finer nib. This is a pretty fine nib, so that definitely helps. But yeah, looks great on this copy paper. I'm impressed. Next up, I put it on some of this Mormon croaky paper that I'm such a big fan of. Nice bright white, nice and smooth, a little bit of a texture to it, but not much. And uh, it works really well with fountain pen ink, and this ink really kind of pops on this paper. It looks great. No real shading, uh, no sheen or anything like that. It's just a nice, bright, extremely readable pink. Looks, looks great if you ask me. Next up, Tomoe River. This is a Galen Leather Everyday book. And here is that pink. This is the very first of these Andorilliums that I tried. You can see another couple here like Flapjack Octopus coming soon, real nice. But this Flapjack, or rather this Spoonbill Pink, I knew as soon as I put this on this page, I was like, wow, that's, that's impressive. So cool. And that's actually, I mean, that's out of a very fine pilot fine nib. So uh, it's going to look even better probably with bigger nibs, I would guess. Here it is on my, sh uh, this is a, this is an Inky Fingers currently inked book, which is wheat straw paper, but it's kind of like sugar cane paper. And uh, just like the rest, works great. No problems at all. All right, color comparisons here on Colodex cards. These are from my friend Anna Reinert over at Well Appointed Desk. You can find a link in the description for these. And it looks great on this card. Uh, just uh, I, Maybe that's why I decided to do this uh, as the first ink, is I looked at this card and went, whoo, yeah. I don't really have that many pinks that are like this. I have a bunch of pink inks, but this one kind of stands on its own, even for this fine nib, real nice. So, all right, uh, here's Diplomat Orchid which is a pretty nice, but definitely darker shade of pink. 
And then we've got here Sailor Bungu Box Sweet Love Pink, which is a, kind of the same down here where it goes down lighter. You can see some of these same colors here, but it's not really that close. It's in the same family. And then Ir Suzuku's Koso Musa, uh, Kosu Mosa, which is definitely more pastel, more carnelian, I think, than this one. And lastly, I went ahead and grabbed Kala Foxy, which is a neon pink, which is uh, not close at all. So there, look, pink is a big color family and it has a lot of members but uh this one kind of stands on its own i don't have anything just like this one which is always neat in a collection like mine so thanks very much to andrelium for sending this little bottle out for review y'all go check out andrelium inks wherever they are sold including andrelium.com uh, and a bunch of other vendors that you will know and love this is a great ink and uh let me know what your favorite pink is because this might be mine all right uh next time peace out